Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I totally forgot to record an intro and an outro, so sorry about that. But today I did this thick winged liner with some glitter. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. I'm going to start priming my eyes with the soft ochre paint pot. And I'm just applying this with my finger all on my lid up to my brow bone. You can also use the Urban Decay Potion Primer. That one works just as great. Those are the only two I've tried. But I'm pretty sure there's other ones out there that work great. I'm going to use the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. And I'm going to set my primer with the white shade that it has. For my crease, we're going to use the Makeup Geek Single Eyeshadow in Crown Brulee. And I'm just applying that with a blending brush in windshield wiper motion. Now with a much darker orangey brown shade, I'm going to apply it to my crease as well. Just that this time, I'm going to put it lower than the first shade. With Anastasia Pomade in Soft Brown, I'm going to start creating the thick wing. I don't know exactly how to explain what I'm doing, but hopefully you can understand by looking at the video. So I did the first line just like if you're doing your regular liner. And the second one, I am doing it towards my crease. In other words, the line is going into my crease. I'm connecting both of them at the top and then we're just going to fill in everything in the middle. You can use any color you like. I'm using soft brown because that's just the one I use for my eyebrows. You can also use regular gel liner and it would be a black thick wing which I'm planning to do something similar to that later on. So for now I'm just doing it with brown with brown pomade because I didn't have brown eyeliner but it works for the inner part of my lid I'm gonna apply this gold shade when I first applied it you're gonna see that it doesn't really show as much but there's a quick tip that you can use so the eyeshadow can pop more and I will show you that in just a bit. This is the part that I was talking about. We're going to add Fix Plus to our brush and then we're going to apply the shade again and notice how now you can see it. Now it's like boom, gold in your face. <laughs> With this dark brown and a small pencil brush, I'm going to apply it to my crease as low as possible and this is just going to add a pop of color to the look. With Anastasia's Shadow Couture Palette, I'm going to then take Fudge which is a much darker brown because the one I was just using was not as dark as I wanted it to be and I'm going to apply it to my crease once again. With a clean blending brush, I'm going to go over the crease shades just to make sure we don't have any harsh edges. For our glitter, we're going to use the NYX Liquid Glitter Liner and I'm just going to apply it on the inner part of my lid. So the middle, I'm going to try to leave it blank without putting any glitter on it. And make sure you wait a while for it to dry because if you don't and you open your eyes it's going to transfer to your crease so here's the fun part um, I received these lashes from Mandy Cosmetics these are the bombshells and they're perfect I love them I fell in love with them <laughs> With the dark brown that I had used on my crease, I'm going to apply it on my lower lashes. I never like to leave the lower part blank. I always like to put a color that I put on my crease on it as well. For my waterline, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to put a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. 
Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take this white shade. So that completes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one.